Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hilia Hilia Iku, and if it is your first time stopping by, then you are most definitely welcome to stay. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I don't know what you're doing with your life, I really don't, but I can know what you're doing with your life, obviously, by subscribing to my YouTube channel and watching the videos that I drop. So today I am back with another flippin' litty vlog. Guys, I'm so excited for today's vlog. I am going to my first ever event. I would scream but I don't want to make noise for my flatmates and the people around me but yeah I'm going to my first ever event it's actually like a natural hair kind of vibe kind of event and I'm going with my friend Joy is just gonna be a very informative you know like talk about natural hair free samples um, free stuff I love free stuff so you know <laughs> but yeah if you like the video please give it a massive thumbs up and also before you continue please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel I don't know why you're watching my content if you don't subscribe also I don't know why you're watching my content if you don't like my videos like like hurry you're like you're watching but like you're not liking and like you're also not subscribing but every week you're on my channel keeping up with me so like you might as well just subscribe and you might as well just like my video <laughs> but yeah so I'm just gonna vlog my my day I guess yeah I'll just vlog my day um, what I'm doing in the morning up until um, the event and yeah I'll see how it goes but let's just let's get it okay let's get it I'm just drinking my morning coffee and having some cookies with that and always staying hydrated and watching some Netflix I guess yeah and watching some Netflix I'm watching bonding and yeah that's all I'm doing right now I just like I just want to ask this random question because like I feel really embarrassed because I recently went to the dentist and guys at my big age like at my big age the age that I am at today I am so 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 scared of going to the dentist I was at the dentist office and I was literally shaking I was like I just want my money and when I went to the dentist office I was like please don't inject me like I don't like needles I don't like anything that's like sticky and he was like no it's gonna be okay you're gonna be fine no one has ever left here crying so I just want to know am I the only one that's still like scared of going to the dentist at my big age or are there other people that are genuinely scared of going to the dentist like it's a genuine fear like you feel your body shutting down whenever you go to the dentist because I definitely like I'm so scared of going to the dentist like I'm even scared of going back and I have a follow-up appointment and I'm still just so scared of going back but yeah let me know so I definitely forgot to vlog the whole getting ready but I'm really really late Woo! imagine if I was wearing a wig wig snatched but yeah so I'm here but I'm waiting for Joyce and she's really really late I'm late everyone's late um so this should be interesting city space or within any campus space so could be UWCC beauty but I'm like Obviously, charity begins at home, so we're going to start at UCT. So it's just going to us be coming together, like sharing tips, um, sharing like anything you might be going through when it comes to protective hairstyles and things. And it won't only be limited to natural hair, but like in the totality being a black girl or a girl of color in UCT's environment. Am I making sense? Are y'all getting it? Yeah, so I'm just kind of testing it out today to see how it works. Yeah. Um, I think with me, I think I just... It's you can work very smart with products mm. and just in general. So there's a lot of free things happening within spaces that you just need to know about. Like for example this. And within that, I mean, there's, you know what I mean? There's yeah. products in there that's going to last me like long in my head. Mm. Just like you can work smart with yeah. 
Um, so personally, I do not regret not spending $2,000. But that's because um, I cut my hair last year, so like that was like a huge saving. So the whole year I didn't have, like I had short hair, so it was like beautiful. No spending on money. But this year, I can already see. I I'm probably halfway like through 2000 and it's not even so yeah it's 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 tense um but i do want to be intentional about like saving on my hair i don't want to like just like have like now i'm supposed to have braids but i'm just like yeah i'm not gonna do it i'd rather invest my money like yeah, like, yeah. Um, i think for me like i only so it's like this whole natural thing becoming like not a trend but you know mm, a trend <laughs> 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 Like because it's a trend now, I feel like that's when everyone's kind of knowing about the products that are available. That's when the products are coming now. So before, I never actually really, I never really put product on my hair or did things to my hair. So and now that these things are here, I'm only seeing it now. I'm not, but I haven't yet invested into. I might become like my friends over there, but <laughs> at the moment I haven't. You know what I mean? Because I've never had to. So it's just a thing of like, if I've been fine till now. Yeah. Can I just add to that? Because I've, I'm in the same boat. Like I've had natural hair since like grade three, and so with that, my hair grew. It was it wasn't as good as it is now because I wasn't taking care of it. Yeah. But that's the only element for me. It wasn't just the products. So because the products came, people were just going crazy. Yeah. Over it. And I still all oh, like, oh, I need to get this product. I need to get this product. I never really experienced that because I've had it for so long. Yeah. Although I didn't take care of it, now I am. That's why I'm here, because a movement and like a community is where you are so like unapologetically yourself. Yeah. And like it's this whole of upliftment embracing and embracing yourself. Yeah. So yeah. that's where, if you never ever wear it out, then I yeah. just, I just, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it doesn't mean that you don't love your natural hair, it doesn't mean you, you're not natural. Mm. Just yeah. the community and the movement. Yeah. Because okay. so that's what there's certain tips that we should all be doing, like I mean, the spray bottle, or having a good oil that you can work with. But everyone's natural hair journey is different. It boils down to genetics, it boils down to the environment you're in. That's why in the States, they have a different hair mm. texture than we will, yeah. we can never. Mm. So it's just embracing what you have, what you're working with, what stage you're in. Are you in the short stage? Are you in the transition stage? Just embrace each and every um, aspect of your journey. Because it's your, your goal is length, which I'm also like a bit of um, on the fence of people being so consumed with the fact that their hair, their hair needs to be the longest it need, like, can ever be. You don't have, that isn't the only goal. Just focus on maybe health, because health then promotes growth. Mm. So the other things that you, you can look at, not just looking at, oh, the person's stretch out, oh, length check is reaching their ass. Some of them do. <laughs> But you're not there, so I think just think about the good things that your hair is doing right now. Is it soft? That's for some people. That's a pro, that's a pro. Yeah, a I mean, yeah. so just look at the things that are good with your hair and try not to focus too much on the what you perceive to be negative, because in the future you realize actually this is a, a, a benefit for me. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's like a word of advice I can do. Thanks for coming. Please continue to like support each other outside of the space. Mm -hmm. Why I create these spaces so that it's not for the two hours we're here, yeah. it's for life going on. So like if you saw someone that was on some yeah, no, this hair, I can, you know, we can agree on things. Reach out to them, get their Instagram, home girl, plug the business, get her Instagram. Just like make sure we take this beyond this these four walls. Um, yeah, thanks to our sponsors, My Natural Style Studio and As I Am for pulling through with the guinea bags. Yeah. Yeah. event and yeah we got free goodies and what else what else do you want to say we weren't late we were actually on time I told you. so we started five minutes late yeah so we were actually on time but we're almost late and yeah hey guys so i just got home from the natural hay event which was held 
by at naturally woke that's her instagram handle naturally woke and she just just recently started a youtube channel ago called naturally woke as well i think she started about three weeks ago i'll leave all her details in the description down below but the event was so so much fun i learned so much about natural hair the natural hair community how we can support each other in the natural hair community and it was just very informative and very nice um the event was sponsored by three sponsors my natural hair um which is a brand of natural hair basically and style studio um south africa and also as i am africa so those were the three sponsors and they were kind enough to give us a goodie bag so so exciting a goodie bag with different kinds of goodies and i just thought you know i'll share with you guys the different goodies that i got so the first um yeah so i'll start with my natural this is um i'm, I'm pretty sure if you're natural then you know like you've seen the my natural products around so i have the moisturizing butter from my natural um the nourishing shampoo a strengthening oil and another strengthening oil i don't know why i have two of these but yeah and then i also have um a moisturizing butter from my natural hair as well and then um there was also this pamphlet it says blueberry bliss curl collection so www.curls.biz and they basically gave us um it's called a blueberry bliss reparative leave-in conditioner so this is a leave-in conditioner and then from sunny al uh, a jamaican castor oil um i've really really been trying to I've been wanting to use castor oil in my hair for the longest time and I don't know why I haven't bought it yet so I'm gonna give this Jamaican black castor oil a try and really see if like it works for my um, hair this is obviously just a sample and then if it works I'll go get myself some more and then some products from as I am um, yeah there's like a smoothing wait so I wanna open it they have a book i don't really know what's in it but let me just show you guys the different sample things that are in here so you have a smoothing gel a cocoa sheer spray a twist defining curl oh i really want to see if this works on my hair if it really brings out the kinks and then a coil defining jelly so i'm definitely definitely excited to try all these products um thank you so so much to add naturally work for hosting the event and thank you obviously to the three sponsors that i've mentioned in this video if you like my video please give it a massive massive thumbs up and comment down below if you've used any of the products mentioned in this video especially if you've used my natural hair have you ever tried using my natural hair or have you used coconut oil <clears throat> coconut oil have you used castor oil in your hair um let me know in the comment section down below let's interact um don't forget to like comment and subscribe i don't know why you're watching my content if you don't subscribe so just subscribe because you're here every week anyway so you might as well just subscribe but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye peace